Thompson and Rutherford's atomic model. John Joseph Thomas was born December 18, 1856 and died August 30, 1940. He was born and raised in Manchester, England. At 14, he attended his first college. He attended Owens College and then switched to Cambridge University. He worked at Cambridge after graduation as a physicist. He is, this, he is credited with discovering the electron. For his discovery, he was awarded the Nobel Prize. At the time, scientists suggested that atoms were made up of smaller units. However, they thought that these smaller units were the size of a hydrogen atom. But Thomas thought differently. He shown cathode rays through a cathode ray tube to identify smaller than hydrogen atom particles in cathode rays. Today, we now know these particles to be known as subatomic particles. Thompson had one more point to make. While scientists now believe that cathode rays were composed of less than atom-sized particles, they did not believe Thompson's statement that they were also negatively charged. To prove this, Thompson constructed a Crookes tube with an electrometer to one side. He shone cathode rays and deflected them to the electrometer. They picked up a negative reading. Thompson now concluded that the subatomic particles were negatively charged and called them corpuscles, which we now know today as electrons. Thompson concluded that atoms were made up of electrons surrounded by a positively charged suit. This is known today as the plum pudding model. Ernest Rutherford was a British chemist and physicist born in New Zealand. He had a citizenship in the United Kingdom and New Zealand. He attended the University of Canterbury and the University of Cambridge. He was most known for disproving the plum pudding model and discovering the atomic nucleus. Rutherford tested the Thompson plum pudding model by devising his gold foil experiment. He mentioned that if Thompson's model is correct, the mass of the atom would be widely spread. Then, he mentioned that if he shot the high-velocity alpha particles, which are also known as the helium nuclei, at an atom, then there would be only little deflections of alpha particles. However, these deflections weren't consistent with Thompson's model. Then Rutherford reasoned that the only way that would happen is with the nucleus concentrated in the nucleus. As a result of some errors and corrections in the Thompson model, Rutherford concluded with the planetary model. This put all of the protons in the nucleus and electrons around the orbit of the nucleus. Thompson and Rutherford both made great contributions in the atomic field. Thompson gave us the electron and Rutherford gave us the nucleus. Even though Thompson's model was disproved by Rutherford's and Rutherford's model was eventually replaced, they both were great contributions in science. Without them, we'd still be trying to understand the basics of the atoms.